Uh, it's warm. <laughs> right now, it's warm out here. Okay. I was going to set this up by saying we've got a problem with our squash. The expert, David Whitwam, Whitwam Organics, says it's a point of concern. It's a point of concern. He's not a lawyer, but he apparently plays one on TV. <laughs> um, what's going on? Good to see you, though. Good to see you, too. Um, so we have our... Ahubak Korean squash yeah. growing, um, which is eaten like a zucchini. Um, so just like we've talked about the zucchini plants and the yellow squash plants in the past, the single plant has male flowers and female flowers. Okay. So we got to get pollen out of male flowers into the female flowers. Got it. We rely on the bees to do that, which is why I have all these beautiful Florida natives uh, growing around it to attract bees. But that doesn't do me any good if the male flowers and female flowers aren't open at the same time. We don't have a lot of time because we've got a complicated question, so show us what you're talking about. So this is the female flower right here. You yeah. can tell it's the female because it has the fruit below it, okay. which contains the seeds. Okay. So that's the female flower right there. I've looked all over these plants and I don't see any male flowers open. So we do have some male flowers right here. And I know that they're male flowers because they don't have the fruit below it. Yeah. So these are hopefully will open before these shrivel up. So these got about maybe two to four days yeah. that they're gonna open and close and open and close. I have to ask a quick question before we get to the question. There's no way to force this situation. N no, I mean, if I had another squash growing somewhere else, you could take like a paintbrush or something yeah. and get pollen out of it and bring yeah. it over. But I don't have any male flowers open. Maybe I can bring it from another location. But that's not like a botanist. That's guy. pretty much it. Yeah, <laughs> right. you gotta get the pollen into the, into the flower. Okay, so folks at home, this may be, if you're doing this this may be what you're going through as well yes question from a good day viewer Sean he asked now that we're in the rainy season and boy are we what is a good soil amendment Wow what a word to help drainage so I brought a couple examples here it's that's a really hard question to answer unless I know your soil composition so one of the ways you can check your soil composition like kind of what it's made out of sand silt clay Take some soil, put it in a jar, fill the jar with water, shake it up, and let it sit for 24 hours. And then the actual layers will separate. You can look that up online to see what your soil's composition is. If your soil's mostly made out of sand, you should have good drainage. If your garden's sitting in a low spot, there's not much we can do other than building raised beds. But let's answer the question more specifically. So here I have a few different uh, items. So this is uh, this is peat moss. You got 30 seconds. And this will make a potting soil. This is our compost, which has a lot of sand in it. This is perlite, which is good for actually retaining water and drainage. And this is vermiculite, which is also good for both. We blend these up to make our own potting mix for our pots in our nursery. So this is kind of what our combination looks like once we blend it all. And this is our arid mix, which for plants that need good drainage. So we put a lot of thoughts in this com combination. And I have four different mixes I do back at the nursery, depending on what the plant's needs are. So it's not really a straightforward answer. But you know what? That's why you're an expert, man. That was impressive. So that was got, an impressive so, answer. So to specifically answer the question, perlite and vermiculite. Okay. And then our good old native Florida sand. Okay. So Sean, you have an assignment. You got to figure out what <laughs> kind of what kind of dirt you got and what you need. So, but thank you for the question. And if you've got a gardening question for David, send it to us, and he might or an, might answer it right here on Good Day. Uh, email to Good Day Tampa Bay at Fox.com. Good to see you, my friend. Good to see you too.